I'd be slightly, I'm slightly skeptical about the the claims that DeepSeek made in the first place back in January, because okay. obviously they were basically implying, and they said so in a paper and, and a paper then and a later paper, that they actually done most of the work in advance, like 90% of the work, and then basically spent, you know, a few hundred thousand dollars on on the last sort of 5% of training. Right. So, right. you know, there's multiple training runs that went on before that. So I'm, I don't quite buy the notion that they are so super efficient and everything is you know just costs uh, six figures versus millions i just i just don't really think that's the case so it's i think they i think they've done an incredibly good job of pitching that and um but there's obviously some there's some elements of it that they are they are they are you know good as good as anybody else at efficient model making mm -hmm. um it depends but there's a whole load of other things around um yeah models are not applications right um, yeah models are not platforms yeah, you know, they're not things. You, yeah, they're things you can you can use within and within a yeah, and then get a develop, development environment and bring them in and, and things like that. So it's kind of you know I'm I'm I think they I think they stack up pretty well against the the, the Chinese counterparts. Um and but you know which is not bad considering where they came from, spun out of a hedge fund. Right. Um, but but it's uh but there's a there's a lot more going on there I think um under the hood than um than they sometimes make out and they haven't really released a lot of detail on this one.